Files are important tools in a tradesperson's toolbox. They are used when you want to smooth rough edges. Files might also be used for sharpening or cleaning the edge of a tool. Different files are used to smooth different materials such as wood, metal, and plastic. There are many different styles and types of files available. The size is determined in the length from the point to the heel, not including the tang. Teeth are cut in the faces and sometimes the edges of the file. All files are classified by their shapes and their cutting face. Some of the most common cross-sectional shapes of files are flat files, they have teeth on both edges and are used for general purpose filing. Round files, also known as rat tail files. These have teeth covering the full circumference. These files are used mainly for enlarging circular openings or filing inside curves. Another example would be a chainsaw file, which is a needle file of the round style. Half round files which have one flat side and one round side. These have teeth on all surfaces. They are used when you have to have both a flat file and a round file in one tool. A popular example of this is a pipeliner file which I have here. It's a 14 inch half round bastard cut filed used by pipe fitters when working on steel pipe when preparing for welding. They need to be able to file both the inside and outside edge of a pipe as well as its face. Triangular files or three squared files have teeth on all faces and corners. These are used to clean up corners or square shaped openings or to file odd angles. All of these files are further classified by their contours. For example, a blunt or hand style file. They have edges that are parallel and straight from end to end with a constant width. One edge has teeth while the other has no teeth. Tapered files, on the other hand, has a reduction in cross-sectional from its heel to the point. It may also taper in width and thickness. The file you choose depends on the shape of the work you're doing. The cutting face of files are classified in two ways, either single cut or double cut face. And the second is by the grade of the teeth. If you look closely, you can see the single cut file has one set of teeth running across the face. These are the best choice for leaving a fine surface finish or putting a keen edge on the knives, shears, or saws. A mill file, which I have here, is a very common type of tapered single cut file. Whereas if you look at the teeth of a double cut file, you will see it has two sets of teeth crossing each other. These files are your best choice for removing large amounts of material. The next classification identifies the grade of the teeth. The only difference between grades is the space between the teeth. The coarser files have much more space between the teeth than the finer files. Generally speaking, coarser files are chosen for fast removal of material. The three most common grades for files are called bastard cut, second cut, and smooth cut. The differences from bastard to smooth are relative to the length of the file because coarseness of a file increases as the length from point to heel increases. In other words, if you look here, I have two files. Both are second cut files. One is 6 inches in length and the other 12 inches in length. If you look very closely, you will see that the 12 inch file has coarser teeth than the 6 inch, whereas they are both, as I said, second cut files. Here's another file 
called a rasp. As you can see, it has very coarse, pyramid-shaped teeth. These are used for rough shaping wooden objects. Like flat files, rasps are also available in round, half round, triangle and square shapes. As you can see, the point or tang of a file is very sharp, so always use a holder or a handle to protect your hand from puncture if you were to slip or if the file was to jam while you were working with it. Some files have an integral holder built into them. This is a solid handle file.